the sum of three consecutive odd integers. So if x is an odd integer, right, then if we add two to that and then add four to that, we still have the next two odd integers. For example, I can start with one, and then I would add two to get three, and then add four to one to get five. One, three, and five are three consecutive odd integers. They tell us that the sum of them, so if I add x plus x plus two plus x plus four, right? Because they said the sum that's adding is equal to 18 less than five times the middle number. So that equals uh, five times the middle number, five times x plus two minus 18. Because you know the, the three numbers is less than that. So to balance it, we have to subtract 18. So here we're just solving for x. On the left-hand side, notice there are three x's. So it's three x's, and two and four is six. On the right-hand side, we distribute the five. Five times x is five x. Five times two is 10, minus 18. That's 10 and eight, minus 18 is minus eight. So five x minus eight equals three x plus six. Subtract three x. I'm gonna move the variables to the right-hand side and the number terms to the left-hand side. So add eight. So these cancel out. 5x minus 3x is 2x. Negative 8, positive 8 cancels out. 8 and 6 is 14 equals 2x. 2x equals 14, so divide by 2, and x equals 7. So that means, find the three integers. Our three integers, if x is 7, that's our first, then we have 9, and then 11. And you can test this, right? Um, If we take 5 times the middle number, that's 5 times 9, or 45. So 5 times 9 equals 45. And if we subtract 45 from 18, what do we get? Well, minus 10 is 35, minus 8 is 27, right? And if we add 7 plus 9 plus 11, what do we get? We get 27, and that's equal. I'm just testing out this idea that 5 times the middle number minus 18 does equal the sum of all the numbers, so that does balance.